Okay, here we go with just some of the overview uh, notes about the video. It's really just a time sync because the video of the crash is off by about 30 seconds. Uh, and also the police log audio was not adjusted for daylight savings time. Uh, so here's a map of the area showing inner loop versus outer loop, northbound, southbound, and then the camera video angle, which I think was from taken from Fort Carroll, and also the two responding uh, MDTA units that held traffic. So now here we start with the video, and in a moment here we'll see the cargo ship, and there they go. The lights go out uh, for the first time, uh, and there is still, you can see cars moving north and south on the bridge. So this is an indication that at this point, the ship had not radioed into uh, MDTA uh, with their emergency. So the ship progresses here for a while with lights out, presumably just drifting from momentum at this point. And just the right center of the screen, you do see the work crew lights flashing there. Their trucks are there. Okay, now on the left side of the screen, the arrow, this is the last northbound vehicle entering the bridge, the frame of the bridge. Of course, the bridge extends to the left and right out of this video frame, uh, but this is the main span of the bridge. So that vehicle continues traveling to the right, uh, northbound on the outer loop. And then at this point, the lights did come back on on the ship, and that corresponds to the VDR of the uh, sensor data starting again on the ship, according to NTSB. So the ship continues uh, moving at this point. And momentarily here, you'll see that last northbound vehicle exit to the right, uh, traveling uh, on the outer loop. And that's the last we're going to see of outer loop traffic. So that's the lanes closest to the camera. So we still see southbound traffic traveling right to the left. So this is the point where the MDTA uh, duty officers informed, according to M. Uh, NTSB of the blackout. So this is presumably when uh, dispatch uh, starts getting it together as far as notifying the police officers. So the ship's still moving here. You can see the black smoke heavily coming out of the ship at this point. And then lights out for the second time. And right around that exact time, that's when anchor was dropped, according to NTSB. Okay, just clarifying again, inner loop lanes on the far side, outer loop on the near side. Outer loop lanes have been empty here for a little while. And now at this point, uh, the second VHF call reporting loss of power and that they were approaching uh, the bridge. But again, MDTA was already notified at this point. Now here's a highlight of the work trucks. I believe there are four of them, including a dump truck uh, in this uh portion of the video and perhaps some other ones further off to the right, not on the main uh, suspension span of the bridge. So in other words, the portion of the bridge that remains standing. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So that until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Yeah, we're all on the route to the south side. Uh, I'm holding traffic now. I was dragging, but we stopped prior to the bridge, so I'll have all out, out of the traffic stopped. Ten four. Is there a crew work on the bridge right now? Okay, now I'm lined with it. Yeah. Good. Let me stop traffic on this site right now. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, if there's a crew up there. We might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. Ten four. Once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. I have all inner loop traffic stopped at this time. Once you get here, I'll go grab the uh, workers on the key bridge and then stop the outer loop. 
Say they were taking this match. The whole bridge just fell down. Start, start, whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Simple, this match is right. That's correct. This time. Do we know if all traffic was stopped? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. We're going to have to get somebody on the other side, the Anaheim County MSP, to get up here and stop traffic coming northbound on the T-Bridge. C-13, I'm holding all traffic northbound. So that's where 828 or Unit 828, I think, did not realize that Outer Loop was already stopped. 828 was actually the unit there, I think, because the construction was taking place. He was probably just sitting there the whole time. Uh, so now we're going to switch over to the uh, dash cam uh, from about two hours prior. Uh, here you can see this car is entering uh, the bridge on the inner loops. So this is the north side, and you can see uh, a car there um, and then a series of, of trucks. Uh, so, you know, I guess some of these trucks made it off and some of them didn't. Um, I think the ones we see in the video are the ones right here. Uh, and there, unfortunately, are the workers um, that perished. Um, it's, it's so sad to see this. Um, but that's uh, what happened. Now, if you listen to that audio, uh, I guess the other thing we realized there is that basically as the bridge is coming down, the officer on the north side is saying very casually, yeah, I'm going to ride up on the bridge and get those workers as soon as I get someone in here to uh, hold traffic for me. Uh, so he was uh, not even thinking about putting his life at risk uh, to go get those workers. So, uh, you know, hats off to that officer.